Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. Welcome to part five of my seven part series on working with card kits. In this video, I will be showing you projects you can create with the Seriously the Best project kit. A project kit is a kit for creating cards and you, the stamp set is sold separately. The kit is on sale right now. I'll get into that later because it is retiring June 2nd. But I just want to explain that in all of my series, what I do in my entire series for creating, for working with card kits is I first unbox the kit. So we're going to unbox this kit today. Then I'm going to go off with the stamp set, the kit, and lots of coordinating colors. See all these fun supplies. I'm going to work until I run out of embellishments. That's when I stop. I may still have things, but when I run out of these little embellishments, then I stop creating and I see how many, pay and I use some alternate card some alternate um, maybe I'll use my punch a little bit but when I run out of the supplies the main supplies I'm going to come back and explain how many projects I created I'm going to show you the alternate projects I created including boxes and 3d items and then I'm going to show you how to create something in 3d because that's what I do for my whole series now so far in this series we this is by the way I'm working with the I'm now working with the spring mini catalog which retires on June 2nd I'm working with the three kits in this part now so far in the series, I worked with all the kits. I'm just going to go through what I've done so far in the series. The first part of the series, Notes of Kindness card kit, created 30 projects with it. Second part of the series, part two, for the Love of Felt project kit. That's this project kit here. It is similar to seriously the best project kit in that you get the stamp set separately. So that was for the Love of Felt. And I created 20, I created 30 more projects. Then we worked with the Looking Up card kit. That's this kit here. Easiest kit of all. Not retiring, but that's this is the easiest kit. All inclusive. Great kit. Made 26 projects. And then I did a lot of watercoloring in this one. This is the Lots of Happy card kit. Created 32 projects. And that so far then, just in the annual catalog card kits, three of the four, which are retiring, 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 June 2nd, and the fourth one. So far, I spent 23 and a half hours creating these four kits and all the 3D projects I showed you. And I created 118 projects. So now I'm gonna work on the last three kits in this series. This one, on sale, retiring. And I'm gonna work with the Botanical Prince Medley, um, on sale, almost, I think, it's practically half price, it's such a great deal, the product medley. And then I'm gonna work with this kit that's sold out. It's sold out in English, but we still have it in French. Although I do have a couple English stamp sets called Three Cheers for You. Okay, so that's what I'm doing next is the rest of the series. And here's the stamp set that's gonna go with our kit. So what I'm gonna do is unbox the kit and and then I'm gonna go off and make projects. And my husband you know, came up with a great idea last time saying, "Take keep track of the time it takes you. So he came up with this in my first video. He said, keep track of the time it takes you to create these kits. I think your viewers would be interested, and I know I was interested. I, I never really kept track of how long it takes me to craft before. The best thing about this kit, besides the the stamp set being so awesome in this really gigantic font, which this stamp set is retiring too, so you need to get that if you really like this gigantic font. These are easy to cut out with the scan and cut, these, these types of large fonts like this. Okay, so that's the best part, I think, is the large font. But the other best part is this little box, it's this little keepsake box. All right, so when you open it up, you see Seriously the Best Project Kit. And I think I've already gone through a few of these, but the projects I'll be making are specifically from this box that I'm opening up. I think I'm on my fourth kit. I love this kit so much. I even have a couple more kits waiting for me. <laughs> this is just my favorite color combination. Balmy Blue, Mango Melody, Mint Macron, Pretty Peacock, and Terracotta Tile. Not only do I love these coordinating colors, I love like the little bird punch outs and things that come in this kit. Okay, and then you get like the instructions and you get some examples so of course I'll be making the examples but then I'll be making little boxes and things I make a lot of you know tag treats boxes bookmarks um who knows yet Hershey nugget treats I'm not sure what I'm gonna make yet it'll all just come to me and I'll be inspired as I go along okay so this is you take your little rubber band off the box okay and so you got your keepsake box you got your daffodil delight twine okay in fact let me let me keep this in the in there so you can see I'm just gonna keep this all in the box. I'm gonna put it like that. So you got a little bag. You got these little gold sequins. Okay, so gold is one of the coordinating colors as well. And notice that they're floral. 
Well, I'll show you, you can see them better later, but some have little flowers around them. You'll see them as I put them on projects. And when I run out of these, that's all I'm gonna use is this many sequins and that much twine. I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna go into my other kits and ransack my other kits because I want you to know how much you can get out of one kit. Because my crafty friends might not be like a hoarder like me. My name is Kim and I'm a craft hoarder. I freely admit it. All right, here's the envelopes. Here are the envelopes. They have gold foiling inside them. I think they're all the same. Yep, yep, they're all the same. So you, this kit comes with enough supplies to make 16 cards. So you have 16 cards, 16 envelopes. Good quality envelopes. Okay, and here's the, here are the cards. So this is terracotta tile. And you know, the blank inside, so I like that. And I like to turn some cards into boxes when I do these projects. This is balmy blue with white inside. And when I make my tag treats out of these, I like to follow along the score line that's already there. So four of those. Then another terracotta tile. I've been using this a lot with my meerkat stamps. The meerkats, because I kind of like how it's a desert. The terracotta tile reminds me sort of a desert, desert sun. So I make the meerkats like they're sticking out of the thing. So that's terracotta tile with some gold foiling. That really matches the envelopes well. And then we have this one, Mint Macron, with the gold foiling on the cards. So, you know, I hope your wheels are spinning. You're like, oh, I can use just, like, like, look, I could take this part and use it for something. Like, that would be the bottom of my box if I put make this into a box. And that's the top of the box with the pretty gold in it. Then you have these vellum pieces. I guess that's the sharper side, meaning there's one side that's a little darker than the other. See? So you get four of those. Those are gorgeous. And then you have these stitch shapes. Now, to make stitch shapes like this yourself, you know, although you can make them with your machines, like, this is, a, like, it's so much easier to get these die cut shapes that are already made or use like a big shot or something. This is just nice stitch shapes, okay? So these fit those sentiments. Again, the stamp set comes separately, but these, these are made to go with the stamp set. Of course, you can get this project kit that's on sale, the project kit itself, the one that's for making 16 cards, and you can use whatever stamp set you want. You don't have to use the seriously the best stamp set. But if you do, you're gonna like it because these fit perfectly into these into these sentiments okay and then we have these okay more stitch you have two pages of those two pages of circles four pages of these stitched ones not four pages i mean four on a page i should say two pages of these and then you have these these go on the cards as well like these are these are smaller so this would be like a layer and I hate to cover up the card, right, with such a pretty thing. So these could be nice box tops. So I will be using extra card stock, of course. I'm using the supplies from the kit, but I'll be using extra card stock to go with this that are the coordinates. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next is what I'll do is go gather all my supplies. We have little birds, and you can make them so like this one faces that bird, and you can put them, hello friend. That's a cute little hello friend theme. And then you have these vellum, Oh, here it is, this side. I gotta show you this side. See the gold foiling on the vellum things? Okay, and a little piece of cardboard to protect it. And then the stamp set is a cling. This is separate cling stamp set. Okay, that's what that, those what those sentiments look like. All right, that's all for now. My light just went out. And we are going to, I'm gonna go off and make these. I'm gonna come back and show you what these projects look like. And I hope you're excited about these seriously the best project kit see you in a little while crafty friends i wanted to check in with you because i did all my stamping and as you can see i filled up all the little blank spots and i like to keep them together while i'm stamping it's just more stable i used pretty peacock and terracotta tile i need more thank you cards than anything else so i tried to use the thanks more but i did do one congrats just because that's one of the stamps in the seriously the best kit and I'll be using, I just stamped right onto the card base what I'll be using for that. I also, um, if I messed up like one side like this, not messed up, but if it got, if it wasn't like real deep because it was my first stamp, then I would turn it over and do that. But then this side didn't have the stitching as well. So what I would do for that is I took my, so I used, like I said, I stamped in Pretty Peacock or Terracotta Tile. But then I would take my crumb cake, this is my crumb cake, an old style stamp pad. And I'd ink around the edges just to help bring that stitching out a little bit. If you can see that, my light is, my one light is off. So that's what I did there. So stamped everything, that's got it out of the way. Now, as I was about to punch these out, I noticed one thing. That's why I, 
oops, I'm getting ink on it. I realized I had to start the camera again. As I was looking for these leaves, I'm like, where are these, these leaves? I didn't show those to my crafty friend. So before I take these all apart, punch them all out. In, in, they were in between the envelopes. Okay, so you also get in your kit these pages of vellum leaves. And I'll be using all of these up. But here you go. This is a better, you can see them better from this side. Okay, so that's a great embellishment with this kit. So one, two, three, four pages of, of these vellum leaves. So I'll be, I'm going to be punching out all my, all my pieces now, keeping my timer running, and then just going to, then I'll start putting the cards together and my 3D projects together. But I just had to show my crafty friends that. Thanks. Hello, crafty friends. I'm back. It took me seven hours and 20 minutes to create the projects I'm going to show you. That includes the 20 minutes for stamping, and then I checked in with you. Now, I created 29 projects. It will be 31 total by the time I'm done creating two projects with you. What I'm going to start with is cards, just some of the cards. And then I'm going to get into 3D projects in more detail. And I even invented a project just while I was doing this. I just kind of came up with something else to hold some of my candies. So let me just start with this before we make a card. We, I always like to, in the series, make a card based on just the, the supplies that came in the kit. So these are the envelopes. These are the cards I just made straight from the kit. So if you recall from the instructions, this was the kit and it came with enough supplies to make 16 cards. And this kit is 30, it was $30 retail, but it's on sale right now for $18. This kit with the box, stamp set sold separately. Okay, so this kit is, is only $18. Now, of course, I made, I made 30, well, we'll be making 31 projects total, but that's not, that's because I didn't do all cards. I did a lot of 3D projects as well. All right, so, so you can see how everything I made was different. So I used, this is just solely from just opening up the kit and putting this together. So some of the twine, and I'm gonna show you how much twine I have left at the end because I did work until I ran out of the embellishments and the, the sequins and things, but I had a little bit of twine left over. Okay, and that's it. Just some dimensionals. I used some Stampin' Dimensionals and we'll be using them right now. I just used my own adhesives like that and some rolling adhesive and some birds and that's it. Terracotta tile, tile was that color. Okay, so project one, let's put that over there. And then this one, same straight from the kit. This was the Bombay Blue card. And I used the vellum, the vellum piece that came in it, the little gold foiled piece. I like to, I have the light on so you can see that. Some sequins, some of the sequins have the little flowers on them. And whenever I use something that wasn't in the kit, I'll tell you, but this was fully from the kit. Like, of course, my own ink, terracotta tile, and pretty peacock ink. Okay, so that was the balmy blue card. And then I got into this one, and I did use some stickers I had from clearance. Now they're not on clearance now, but they are just some gold stickers I had. And I forget what the name of those gold stickers were, but I did use stickers throughout these projects a bit. They were gold and I thought they matched well. And so, you know, but the rest of it's from the kit. This is this terracotta tile piece straight from the kit. Some birds, stamped in pretty peacock, you know, just leaves. Um, oop, that leaf looked like I forgot to adhere it. Oh, got to fix that. I'm going to put that at the very bottom of the pile. So I, remember, I did try to hear it in the back is what I was trying to put the heat. I was trying to hide the adhesive again. Just use my own stickers. Hello friend. I had, I had a circular sticker, but you can use dyes. I mean, of course, combined with other things. I tried to just use mainly the kit. So you saw that card base already. And here's the other card base. So now when you see me wrap things, you're going to know, like if I wrap boxes and things in this, you're going to know, like for example, this little box, which I'll show you what's inside. That's just a card. I just cut the card and made the lid of that box. In fact, I did that in this series. So a lot of the things I'm showing you, you've seen me do in the series. Okay, so I love this vellum. I love that vellum piece. These little sequins. So simple to make elegant cards with seriously the best project kit. So let's just do that. Let's just show you how simple it is to make a card. I just saved a little bit of each. We'll use this for our 3D item. We'll use, I use this card here. So this is the terracotta tile card base. And here is the piece that would go good on, you can layer that now in the instructions, they show it being layered, this piece onto the balmy blue, but I, th I don't think it, it looks right on the balmy blue. I think it looks better on a, on a different color for contrast. And so I just put a little bit of rolling adhesive on it and that's it. Very simple. You could stamp it if you want, but we're not gonna do that. I already stamped it. I mean, you could stamp extra leaves is what I mean. So just, just as I was showing you these samples, 
I don't think they. I don't think any stamping was done on their samples. But I do have this. I do have this leaf, and I was using this a bunch in the projects with some mint macaron. So you could stamp down here if you wanted to, but we're not going to. And then you can just do whatever you want. So I like to kind of put things at an angle in the middle here with some dimensionals. You could put some some twine behind there, but because I have a lot of things to show you, trust me, you'll see enough cards with twine behind there. But if you're going to put twine behind there, one little trick is this. Okay, there's a little trick. I put a little I put a little line of adhesive down the middle and then I wrap the twine so that it sort of hangs off the outside. Right? And then it sticks to the adhesive. So don't that way it's all hidden and you're going to see me do that. Or you're going to see how I've done I've hidden the twine lots of times. Oh, and that's also how I hide the leaves. So I did save a couple leaves. I did run out of those, but that's here, that's the same trick. So I'll just show you. Crafty friends, the same trick. That's the same way I adhere the leaves. So I just simply, let's see how I want the leaves. I put one up here, one down there. Something like, which side's darker? Is there a dark side? Sort of. I don't, want, I don't want that sticking off the other side, so we'll snip that. Sorry if I'm out of focus. I can't see what I'm filming. Okay. Oh, I can, I can see it now, but not while I'm looking down and concentrating. And I don't know what side's up or down, but I love the vellum texture. I love that extra texture it gives the cards. It's just so cool. See, so that's how I do it. I don't, I also have vellum adhesive, but I don't even put adhesive on that, those parts. I just stick it to this part and it seems to be fine. Then I, I see I slap that down with two dimensionals. These are little foam dimensionals we sell. I make it go at the same angle as the card. And then you can put a bird on there if you want. Okay, that's all I saved. I did save a little piece of a vellum. And you can put a little bird on the card. That's the only bird I have left. I would try to put the bird face in that way. But I don't have any more birds facing that way. Just I'm just using just enough just to show you. And then I have little sequins and they come on glue dots, but I don't I ran out and these are just the ones that fell off of things. But I don't you know I don't have I don't have any more of the self-adhesive it's sequins. So I would use a glue dot is what I would do. And that's just gonna be a little bit hard because it takes a little bit of time. But you get the idea. And I would put those, I would use my little picky tool and I'd I'd stick those on with it. Okay, so that's how you make a card that came in the kit. Just like that, you get a beautiful card. You put some some string on it. All right, so let's move let's move on. I want to show you Hershey Nuggets. Okay, Hershey Nugget treats because they're made straight from the card, straight from the kit. So how I made these is you, well, you know because we did it in the series. I showed you how to make my Hershey Nugget treats. Same measurements, nothing different as as we did in the series. But I do want to just explain like these are pieces of the card. So you saw the card bases. This is one of the card bases. This is one of the card bases. I just stamped it, Mint Macron, in this, I stamped this one in Mint Macron onto the Balmy Blue, and that's all I did there. Very, very simple. This here is the envelope liner, okay? All of the times you see gold, it's the envelope liner. That's all. I cut the envelope liner, and you know from watching my videos, if you're, if you're new here, please subscribe, but if you wanna make Hershey Nuggets, there's loads of videos on my channel about how to do that. And the measurements will be, you know, in the videos where I teach that. Okay, and I put a few sequins on this one. This is just the card on the back. You see that I did use pretty peacock trays, and I did put contains nuts, milk chocolate with almonds. I'm also going to put my name up here, depending on who I give it to. If it's a craft fair, I'd put my name in case they want to order more in my website. But if it's for a team member, I would put, or a prize for a customer or something, I would put, or in with the prize. I would put I would put like something like made with the seriously the best project kit on the back here So I would either write the product name or my name on the back of Hershey Nuggets All right, so let's move on and show you some more cards So I started getting into using just my own cardstock and I, I think I Did sort of add it up five pieces of cardstock total in order to make extra cards but I still in keeping with the theme of this this, this whole video is about what I can make with one Seriously the Best kit. If you want to get this kit right now for $18, it's on sale. It was regular $30. Then go to my site and get the kit if you really like this kit. I'm showing you all the things you can make from one kit and all the things you can do. But you do need to do my projects exactly like they are. You would need some extra cardstock because as you can see, I took, I just made, all I used from the kit here were pieces of the card, the leaves, the bird, but this piece here is my own cardstock. So for the next, the rest of the cards I'm showing you in this video, it's all my cardstock, except not the boxes, but the rest of the cards. 
Okay, so that's how I was able to make so many cards by by using all, by all the scraps and things. So I just love the way the gold the gold foil envelopes make the nice nice backgrounds for the cards. And all my cards are blank inside. I did put Whisper White inside. I could have stamped them right easily with some leaves, but I just left them blank inside and made them all so you can just write a nice long note to somebody. And they all have matching envelopes. And I needed thank you cards the most, so that's the sentiment you're going to see the most. And for this one, I used some of my own stickers. And I used, I start using punches. So I did use four different punches throughout the series or throughout this, this, not this series, throughout this project. And this one is called the Timeless Label Punch. And I was able to just cut apart the little sentiment that says you're seriously the best. It's a little crooked. And that's it. I popped it up on dimensionals and that's it. And I used some stickers I had that I found before on clearance. This is just pieces of the envelope, pieces of the card all over. This little piece is from the Lots of Happy, this little piece of gold foil. And that's it, very simple. And these little gems, they were the last of my gems. That was one of the last cards I made. Terracotta tile cardstock. Okay, moving along. For this card, I tied the string behind this piece here. So I just took one of the pieces, I stamped straight on it, and I tied the string on it, then popped it up with dimensionals. If I didn't pop it up with dimensionals, it would have been lumpy if I just put the string behind there, and then I tried to use just regular rolling adhesive. I love all the birds and, and how they really added to the projects. I didn't want to cheat and go into my other kits, although I do have extras of this kit, but maybe I'm going to be adding some more birds to some of my cards and projects. But I just wanted to show you what you can get out of one kit, my crafty friends. That's terracotta tile. Okay, here's when I used Mango Melody, another, another coordinating color. Okay, Mango Melody, and that's, that's just the background again for that cardstock that coordinated and just one of the card backgrounds. Some, some of the twine behind there, some of the leaves. Thanks, written in terracotta tile. Okay, so I just had so much fun. I was, you know, it was fun and I was also challenged. Okay, I'm gonna show you one of my embossing folders and then I'm gonna move on to a couple 3D projects. So I liked, when I started running out of things, I started running out of I, I didn't have any more birds, I didn't have any more leaves or, or, or these little things. I had them in my other kit, but I didn't want to dig into this kit. So I, and I probably will maybe add some more leaves later. I can even use my sprig punch or my leaf punch, you know, to add more to this. But I was thinking, what could I do to it that to just use what's, what do I have? And that's kind of how I was challenged during this whole thing, is I was thinking, well, I, I have to use what I have here because I don't want, I don't want my crafty friends to be like, you used... You know, you have, where'd you get all these little stitched embellishments? I'm using just the ones that came in the kit. That's all I'm using. So I wanted those to be the focal points, but I wanted to add some, some texture to this. So for this one, I took this embossing folder and I use this embossing folder a lot. It's called the hammered, hammered metal 3D embossing folder. And I just took a card base and ran it through here. I mean, it's as simple as that, but it just adds so much texture and dimension. So I really didn't need much else on this card, although I might add some leaves, only to make it more nature. But that's that's what I did for this card. Simple as that. I added a little piece of this little card behind it. This is um, the Bummy Blue card base, and that's a little piece of the card scraps. Some little bling bling, stamped it in pretty peacock and terracotta tile. Okay, so as simple as this is, it's something that I'm just like, wow, I like it because it's just that embossing photo. That's why I'm like, hmm. All right, so more cards to show you later, but let's get into some of these. So we're going to, I'm going to show you the tag, these kind of tag treats because I've shown them in this series of how to make this before. And I was thinking, well, what could I do with the, what could I do with these little tiny sentiments I had left over? I had a lot of these, I miss you a lot. And I thought these would be good in care packages. So for the, for these, I told you I used a few different punches in this series. For that one in particular, okay, I, you could use, it doesn't matter if you use this one, this is the scalloped tag topper punch. Let me put that there. It doesn't matter if you use that punch for the tops of those or if you use this punch, delightful tag topper punch. But I found this delightful tag topper punch to work a little better for this project and I'll tell you why, it's because of the string. If I, were, if I were to use thicker ribbon, it probably would have looked better with the scalloped tag topper. But for this one, I was using just the twine. So this is fully made, you know, this here. And you can tell, let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even take these out. You can tell it's fully made just from the card kit, nothing else. Stamped it in mint macaron. And look at that. See the white liner? That shows that I didn't use my own cardstock because stamping up cardstock is dyed all the way through. 
So if I were to use my own balmy blue cardstock, you would see the balmy blue inside. But and this is just the card. So this is actually the card that came in the kit. That's how I made this tag treat. This is wrapped in the envelope liner. Okay, so nothing new. All the little embellishments came in the kit. So you could just do so much just with your supplies if you're thinking, well, I don't really have many craft supplies. You have, if you get this kit, you'll have a lot of craft supplies because you can cut apart the embellishments. I got two out of this. This was one little flag, one little foiled gold flag, and I got two out of it. I cut it in half and I was able to use it twice for the Miss You a lot. And this is just another card with more of the Hershey Nuggets inside, wrapped in the little envelope liner. Just two, and even I think I stamped the Hershey, yeah, stamped the Hershey Nuggets as well. Okay, so you know how to make these kind of tag treats. Hello, friend. This one I made it a little bit bigger. So you you know that the punch is just typically two inches, like that's what this is, two inches. You could do one, one and a half for two inches. But for this one, I made it two and two, 2.25 and it worked fine. And I had to make it 2.25 to fit the hello friend sentiment on there. And in this one, I made it wider and I was able to then put some of these um, Hershey miniatures, Hershey miniatures inside there. But then I thought, I, I need my Hershey miniatures to have their own special little box. So let's do a little, let's stop and do a little tutorial. Because in my card kit series, I always do a tutorial in each little, in each part of the series. So this is what I came up with. I said, oh, we need to like have the Hershey miniatures not so loose in here. Let's make, let's make a little box that would fit the Hershey miniatures. So this is what I came up with. And I did use some little bling bling from, uh, from another set. This is from the Ornate Garden, this one here this little bling bling only because i ran out of sequins and it's in our it's on sale now on our website these are called gilded gems and i really liked how they look because they're gold and they they work with this I mean, use whatever little bling bling and gems you have to decorate with all right so here we go i'm going to take these apart so you can kind of get an idea of how to make them so we'll, then then we'll make we'll make part of one because i have the pieces made so seriously the best i used so i used a piece of pretty peacock says you're seriously the best. And what I really like about this little invention is just that somebody can just pull that off and the candy comes out and then it's kind of a reusable, it's a reusable treat because you can put other things in it. So for example, I have other, I have other like little, you know, candies cut up, not cut up and uh, decorated already. So you can fit two, two Hershey miniatures in this perfectly, but you have to kind of put them back to back like that. But you could put like some money for someone's graduation, right? Because that's like you did it. It could be a graduation one, right? You could put, you don't even have to even, you don't even have to put the belly band around the outside. You can just put something in there. Let it stick out, something that rolls even. So because these just stick in there like that and they're tight, which is really nice. See, you don't need a side thing because they're already tight. I embossed the side of this one. Okay, let me take the other ones apart. In other words, I use the hammered metal embossing folder to, to do that one, to make the little band. And then you got You Did It with some gilded gems. Make sure I'm in focus here. That's a good little graduation one. I pull it off the bottom, okay? And again, two little Hershey miniatures. And again, I miss you a lot. Good for a care package. Okay, I miss you a lot. And that's Mango Melody. Okay, and these ones I didn't even wrap the candies, but I guess I will. No, no, I didn't wrap them on purpose, I think, because if it has nuts in it. I, see, I wanted to make sure that they knew it had nuts, but this one is like a dark chocolate. Okay, so super cool. Now, let's do this. So first you need to start out with, I have, I have like a paper trimmer and everything, I'm, but I already kind of have, I have the pieces cut. So I wanted to just show you that. And we're gonna use this piece there, we're gonna cut one. But I do have some pieces cut. Did I show you these cards yet? No. Well, it's all good. I did have the pieces cut to kind of give you an idea. Here they are, here they are. Okay, so here's, here's the idea. So you're gonna take, this is going to be the piece you need. You need a two inch piece. We're gonna use the card to make that two inch piece. Okay, by five and a half, two inch by five and a half. Okay, now unlike my other treats that I teach you how to make, you can actually punch these ahead of time. You can make your two inch by five inch and then you'll have, you'll have like ready, you'll have bookmarks ready. You'll be ready to make some bookmarks. But in our case, you're, you know, you could 
You could cut them all or you could cut them and punch them all. Let's, let's start from the beginning. It's a, always a good place to start. It's from the beginning. I'm gonna take my paper trimmer. Now my paper trimmer came with a scoring tool as well. So if your paper trimmer, if you have the scoring tool, just use this, but I'm gonna use a separate way to, to score as well. Okay, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna use the open side so I can make two at once. See the open side? Open side of the card, I'm gonna go two inches. I'm gonna go in two inches. Okay, see I'm, I'm covering up the two. I'm on that line. Just so you get a better idea of that because I'm only gonna do this part once. See? I'm right over the two. Let me focus that. I, I, a lot of my friends just got this trimmer, my crafty friends, because it's a new trimmer. And I'm covering up the two to, to get it on the two line. All right, and I'm putting this right on the line, right in front of the line. I want, I want my little card to be in front of the line on that side of it, because if not, it gets a little too big if you put it right on the line. It's kind of hard to get inside the punch. Okay, I'm just gonna do two at once because it's a card, see? Make, go up and down. Now I have two of these. So these are ready to go. These are these are ready to go. Now we're going to score. Okay, gotta get my scoring tool out. So this is called the Simply Scored. I'm gonna let you see that at different angles. Uh, it's an invaluable tool for card making. Uh, in fact, even though the Brothers Scan and Cut makes perforation lines, it doesn't do proper scoring. Proper scoring is when you just not have perforations, it's just when you use a little scoring tool like this and that's why I prefer even even though I use the brother scan and cut and card making all the time I still use this to score with all right so let's before I score the card I'm gonna score my piece of mango melody only because I want to show you and then I'm gonna bring the card closer to the camera so I'm turning it sideways it was like I said this was five and a half see there's the five and a half by two now I'm turning it horizontally and I'm gonna score at one inch okay I'm gonna score at 1.75 inch 2.75 inch and you can't see it all don't worry I know you can't see it all and three and a half because that's why I'm bringing it up to the camera closer okay so here's what I did I'm now you can see it better I just like I just like doing it on regular cardstock so you can see it well so I did it at one inch and it'll be in the all the description don't keep telling me you can't find the description my friends who are watching this on the TV because you can pull up the description and on and um, on your phone later or you can look on my blog later, thepaperchef.com, because I put the descriptions on my blog. I do get emailed a lot asking for dimensions. This is in the description on the, and on the blog. So 1, 1.75, 2.75, and 3.5. And so now let's do this to the little one we just got from our card. Now the card, remember, this is... Okay, I want to make sure the light is not too bright, and I make sure I'm in focus. Now I usually don't score unless something's laying on the table. But I just wanted to make sure you can see this really well. I'm going to score it one, 1.75. Okay. And I'm using, it doesn't matter if you use the small or the large end, but I like to use the large end for flowers and the small end of my scoring tool, you know, for, for these types of things. So what did I say? One, 1.75. Okay. And then two, 2.75. See, I have my notes. I have to look at my notes too because this is a new invention and three and a half. Okay. I mean, just come up. I just come up with the same things and I vary them. So I should say a new, a new variation of something I've already made before. And then I could, I could score these as well. All right. So that's it. So now you've seen this, you've seen me score and now I'm going to do, I'm going to fold and I'm going to use my, my punch. Now it doesn't matter which punch you use, right? But the idea is going to be like that, okay? And then we're going to punch this part, and then I'll I'll show you the advantage of using the cardstock because it's double sided, but that's okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to open up the punch. You see how I did that? There's a, it's on the back. It's there's a little lever, and that's just for storing it smaller. But you have to open that up, go like that, and then you're going to punch. Now the side you're going to punch because we're going to be gluing this end. We're going to be gluing this to here, making a little box. So the side you want to punch is the longer side. The side that's left over that's the longest is the side you want to punch. Okay. And I'm going to punch that and I'm going to make sure that's good. Very good, good, good. And now I'm going to glue that like that. Okay. And I'll do, I'll just also do that to the mango melody. So you're putting adhesive on this little end there. You're putting adhesive on that end. 
because that end attaches to the flat side. I hope you can see that. Okay, and I made them exactly the same so that it would stand up good. And I really like this little treat because it stands up well without me even doing all this craziness. I don't have to put the band around the outside. It already stands up pretty well. Okay, but let's do the little mango one. Mango Melody. I always like to do my folding along the score lines before I do my punching because I make that makes sure it ensures me that I don't punch the wrong side. I'm always punching the long side. The side that's the longest is what I'm going to be punching. Lay it down flat and push down. Sometimes it doesn't get all the way because my punch has been worn down. <laughs> I've made literally thousands of bookmarks for the local, for, for schools, libraries, and things, and I mean, my punches probably, but they're still going strong, don't get me wrong, but they just have a little bit of trouble sometimes, you know, with the thick card stuck. The designer series paper works really well. All right, so, got a little bit of a nib on the end there. That's okay, trim him off. So now, I'm just kind of, although I'm really just showing you one of these because I already have the band made, I'm just kind of showing you that, I wanted to show you that like the reason I used cardstock for these instead of the card bases, because the card bases in Stampin' Up! card kits, well, and typically they're white inside. Okay, so the cards are white inside. Whereas when you use Stampin' Up! cardstock, it's dyed all the way through. And I like using the ones that are dyed all the way through for this kind of treat because then the back is the right color. I mean, the back is that color. Okay, so anyway, use whatever coordinating colors you want, and I'll be making more of these little treats. They're so much fun. Then you shove your little, you shove your little candies inside. One candy, two candy, it doesn't matter. You can even put a Hershey nugget and the, and the miniature in there, but I would just do one Hershey nugget or two miniatures. The miniatures are more flat. Okay, so let's put the, let's take two out of here and put those in there. Just so you can see, put them back to back like that and put them in at a sort of an angle. And there you have it. And then you can take your little, twine and just cut off a piece I, I didn't measure how big just make a bow very simple and tie a little bow on there and then we'll put our little band and the sentiment on there so the band I just I'll just have the dimensions the idea is you're just wrapping it so the stuff doesn't fall out the side but if you have something that rolls that you want to stick out the side of course you wouldn't cover you wouldn't put the side you, wouldn't, you don't need to cover the sides because this, this is really tight the way it is. See, like that. And you could put, I miss you a lot, right on there. How fun is that? But no, we're going to put the little band that I've already made. This should be right here. So I've already embossed it and I've already made the band. So this one I made in Mint Macaroon and I've already embossed it using the hammered metal embossing folder. Okay, so that's what I'm going to put on mine, this little band. And it's just two inches on the side. It's, it's really just the same. We have two inches across, that's the band, but I did make these each one smidgen bigger than three quarters of an inch. All the three quarters of an inch would work on the sides, right? But I made them a smidgen bigger, like seven eighths of an inch on each side because I wanted those to, I wanted this to stay on and you know, hold that chocolate that bulges out. Okay, and then you put your little sentiment on there. Pretty cute. I miss you a lot or whatever sentiment you wanna put on. You can put it up there too, if you have a white topper. And of course you can use, I had one little piece of vellum left over. And if you want to decorate with this little guy, you can make him the band. I mean, just anything goes for this cool project. All right, so that's that. I hope you understand how to make those. And I'll, I'll have the description of the wrapper in the, in the description of the video. Just, you know, because I don't want to sit and make this all every little part. But I think you got the idea. The wrapper is two inches on the front and it's just a little bit more than three quarter inches on the side. All right, so now I want to show you this next project will be something similar to what we made in this tutorial. And what we made in this tutorial was called a tea holder. And it was also something that would help Ghirardelli chocolates. We made those in one of the tutorials. And, and this time I varied those. I used that same kind of concept of the tea holder. And instead, I made a sticky note holder. Because our new catalog is coming out. And I think this would be fun to send sticky note holders like this for some of my you know customers or like if I'm if I'm sending something anyway and I I'm not going to send a whole package just with gifts but if I'm sending something anyway like they win a prize then they have sticky notes to mark off the pages in their wish list of the catalogs because they're coming out this month it's May yes yeah, so they're coming out this month even though they're not really launching till next month but that's just a nice little sticky note holder similar to the tea holder we made before 
Okay, I want to show you a few tags. Um, I'm going to do these boxes uh, last, but I'm going to show you the tags, just so you know where we're at in the video. I'm going to show you the, what's in the boxes last. I'm showing you some tags right now, and then some more cards. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing, and then the two boxes. So we're almost, we're almost there. Okay, so for my projects. So for this, this one I used Mint Macron, Mint Macron cardstock. Some stickers I had, which I don't remember where they're from. Just these little leaves from the kit, and the Hello Friend is just right from the kit, and the sentiment right from the kit. So you can make tags, and you could also use ribbon on your tags. And this particular punch is called the Scallop Tag Topper Punch, because you can see it has a big hole. So I still might add ribbon to this, but again, I was trying to show you what you can do with just the contents of the kit. This one, again, that same twine from the kit. I just cut up a piece of the card. The, the card, but these, are, these are two inches wide, these little tags. This is using the Delightful Tag Topper Punch. And the insides, when I cut these inside layers, they were 1.75 inches. Okay, so just kind of fun to see what you can, just, just you could take the same concept of making a tag and they all come out way different. I might just add these to the card if I'm sending someone a card anyway. Hello friend, just some little extra stamping there with the pretty peacock and the terracotta tile. This is just a background's a piece of a card and then we have the, you saw that was Mango Melody cardstock and this one was Pretty Peacock cardstock. So all of these are different. And then this one, I, I had, all I had left was You Did It. I didn't have any of these big ones left except for one messed up one. So I thought, what can I put on this one? You did it. But then I had this big blank empty spot at the bottom and that's when I decided to put a piece of chocolate on this tag. So you could, you could add that to a gift bag. It has chocolate in it. So that's just kind of fun. All right, so I have a few more cards and those cards have some some more embossing so these two cards I just again I was running out of running out of leaves and running out of sentiment so I thought let's add some interest to the backgrounds of the cards and to add some interest to those two cards I used what's called the subtle 3d embossing folder I just I can't believe I haven't used this more it just it's just so fun it's just a little subtle subtle little texture to your cards so I took a card base I took the balmy blue card base and you know, this card would look plain, but, but the person holding it isn't gonna think it's plain because maybe you can't see that, but it is not plain. It has texture to it. And so the person holding it is gonna feel special. It's not, it's not just like a plain background. It is, it is like a 3D background. So that's pretty cool. And you know, you can also do other things to this, like ink around the edges, put some more string behind there, but I didn't wanna run out of twine. So I didn't put string behind this one, you know, behind like the twine behind that one. And again, just some white, Whisper White inside, and thank you. And I need an envelope for that one. I will hijack some envelopes from my other kit. I better not say hijack on YouTube. They're gonna probably go, what is she talking about? I'll get flagged. I know, sounds funny, but you don't know what kind of things, if you say it, they, they flag you. All right, so this one I thought was kind of cool. Again, it's that subtle 3D embossing folder. And it did, because the card base was kind of thin, it did kind of, or this was like a back of one of the cards and it did kind of bulge it where it doesn't bulge it to cardstock. You see how it's a little bulged or you know how it's doing that? That it doesn't do that to cardstock, but it does do it to the to the thinner card, the backs of the cards. And I just put some some string here to add some interest. And again, I might do more to it, but I have but I was using I was limited by what was in this kit. I might add some more leaves or something. So hello friend, I miss you a lot, and that's pretty peacock. I mean, I like it the way it is, but I think it needs a splash of color. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know what your favorite project was, too. I'm very interested because I'm on my last, two, last couple projects now. I want to know what you think of these projects. All right. And of all the kits, I've done five of the seven kits. This is still my favorite kit. It's not the easiest kit to make, but it's definitely my favorite of all the kits. That's why I bought so many of them. But this is, I'm still just using one for this. Now for this one... You may have seen me use this a lot at Christmas time because I, I was using uh, this same embossing folder. This embossing folder is called the Brick and Mortar in 3D embossing folder. I like to open these up to show my crafty friends. Look how cool that is. Okay, so you just take, you just take cards and you add interest by just making them embossed. And I just think the terracotta tile looks like brick. It looks like the color of brick. And I just, for this one, this is very simple to do, and I kind of just came up with this, and I'm like, why am I not doing this more? It's making holes with this. So I just took a piece of the card, and I, I cut like a little half-inch strip. I'm gonna put that farther away so it's not so bright. 
Okay, I took a half inch strip of the card, meaning this little card, this little mint macaroon card base, and I decided to just put it in here, and I just made the hole from the back of this. That's how I made this little curved end in the holes. I was like, well, that's simple. Why am I not doing that more? Probably because I have hole punches, but still, I really like that effect of making a little hole. And then I just ran the string through three times, and this is loose. See, this is loose, but it's, it's not really that loose, but I'm saying I didn't put any adhesive behind it because it kind of makes the card sort of interactive, which is kind of fun, you know, because then, then you'd have somebody wondering, how did she do that? And then I hid the, the background. I mean, I hid the, you know, I just raised it up in dimensionals and hid that string, and I adhered the string to the back of that card. Okay, so that's how I did that one. And this one, I did the same 3D uh, brick and mortar embossing folder, but I embossed it reversed. And I like that effect too. It was actually an accident, but I do like it meaning it's debossed. It's like the bricks are going into the card as opposed to this one's embossed. The bricks are coming out of the card. So I kind of like that. And this was just a bunch of scraps. That's all I had left. See, scraps of the cards, pieces of the card. All right, I know you're probably wondering what are in these little boxes? She's been making me stare at these the whole video. They're peeking out of the side. All right, so here's what's in my boxes. I mean, I, only because I get asked what's in my boxes all the time. It's pretty funny. I'm like, whatever fits in your box is in your box. But I always answer. I'm always very, I'm always answering. But people are saying, what do you put in the boxes? I'm like, well, whatever fits in the box, you put in the box. It doesn't matter what you put in the box. I, I just got clearance candy. They were 75% off for Easter candy at my little grocery store. So I just, that's what I put inside mine. But you could put money in there, candy, whatever. I'll show you what's in the other box. And by the way, this box is made just from the card. I definitely want to make more of these with my other kits. I like these better than the cards. I like making a box out of the card. This is just the top of the card, or not the top, it's one of those layers. It's just one of those, it's one of these. It's one of these layers from the card. That's all it is, one of these. And it's just, that's, I just scored it on the side, made a box. I did teach about that in this series. And the last little box. This one's even, this one's probably a half inch scored. And, Okay, open up the twine here, and there you have it. You have, <laughs> this is just kind of fun. I was running out of like wrappers for the candies and I had some scraps of my embossed card stock and I, or the embossed card base and I thought I'll just emboss the Hershey miniature. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's what I used here. I was using Hershey miniatures a lot. You can get the family size bags. I was using Hershey nuggets a lot and that's what's in that box. Hershey nuggets, Hershey miniatures. I'll link to those. If you don't want to go out and shop, you can shop online. I'll link to this. Okay, and there you go. That's what they are. Hershey Miniature, Hershey Miniature, and Hershey Nugget. And you wrap it in there, put it in the box. Give someone a gift. I hope you like these ideas and are inspired. If you'd like to get these kits, please use my link. Oh, it's already buried. <laughs> buried up there. <laughs> There's the link to my website. It'll also be linked in the description. This is on sale for $18, was $30. The, the stamp set's still the original price. It's $19. However, the stamp set is retiring and so is the project kit so these will be available until june 2nd or while supplies last so let me know what you think in the comments if you're new here please subscribe thanks for watching this is the papered chef